Hello and welcome back to Crypto Schnack. My name is Marian and I'm your host today. And today we're gonna talk about the boring company and I will go into some things that are not really covered so far. What boring company can do and how it's gonna be beyond our imagination, how it can change the entire life, the way we transport things and the way we live the same as with Tesla. If you like all that, do consider subscribing to my channel in the background as always credit goes to jeff roberts for the drone footage from the giga austin texas and we will talk about boring company and austin texas as well in a minute and um, as always thank you so much for all your support in the recent days especially yesterday as i got a record over 30 new subscribers thank you so much for that it's really appreciated thank you so much guys so let's dive in so the boring company is has been always covered in the media for um, transporting cars or um, as we see it right now with the las vegas loop um, is used to transport people in tesla cars and uh, two days ago we have seen first footages of a station where people can go down and um, go into a Tesla and then let themselves transport from a Tesla itself. So um, this is what um, yeah is usually covered and um, where Tesla is able to get contracts already. But what I like to talk about is not only the fact that um, the boring company is um, able to make a uh, uh, transport um, underground it is also for other things and so we do have the um, website of um, the boring company and I'm actually really surprised that it is not um, as much covered it is the topic freight freight so guys freight containers anything like that and um, I was just thinking how crazy would it be for Tesla to change the entire system, how um, freight is actually transported. We always talk about people, but if I talk, um, the United States is a big country. Um, it might be a bit um, more challenging to do it over there. But if I look into my home country, Germany, and I'm imagining myself how many freaking trucks are on the freeway and how many uh, things are transported from one city to another city and how easy it would be to um, get a point from one city to another city where a tr um, container is just driving to a station the container is going into such a um, boring um, tunnel and it's just going to be transported at a high speed without any traffic to another city and at that point there's a, no a small container um, a place where they get the container out and another truck drives it directly to the customer or the uh, logistic company. So um, this would allow less um, costs for the uh, driver, less um, um, diesel costs, less, um, yeah, it's more calcul um, it can be more calculated, the time, etc, etc. And there is a really good example out there right now um, with Switzerland. Switzerland is actually trying to get um, the for many years um, is a leader in it to get the entire containers from the street to the train. And that's why they are building so many train uh, train um, lines and especially for the containers because they don't want to have all these trucks on their freeway or drive through cities they want that the containers are transported through the mountains with the train for example from germany then to italy so the truck drivers don't have to drive through entire switzerland and this is something um, as an example which could be the multi-billion dollar business if it's not just only about the tesla cars driving people underground or the loop um, the hyperloop getting into these funnels. Um, no, I'm talking about freight and I think the, the entire freight business worldwide is trillions of dollars. It's so much that is moved 
and I think um, we have talked about yesterday about the economics of the Tesla Semi and I think this would be another possibility to um, demonstrate a future where these containers are not actually any more visible um, overground where people don't have the noise anymore of course there will always be freight that is with fresh food um, where you could use a Tesla Semi because it is for the range of like 500 miles perfectly and um, fresh food needs to be um, transported directly but everything else that goes between big cities it could go all underground it is possible and we do know that the machines um, right now that Tesla uses for the boring company are much faster much more efficient and even though the freight is down there it would not use any um, um, CO2 it would not have any diesel truck down there so it is the same rules as with the electric cars you would just um, take like an electric um, um, uh, kind of electric way of putting the um, containers on like a surface and this is driving electric by itself FSD, FSD wise um, through the thunder I think this could be a multi-billion dollar business guys because again who would profit it from profit from it the logistic companies the people who make money by transporting um, this um, uh, these containers you don't have to have a person driving a truck for a thousand or two thousand miles um, you don't have all these kind of issues you would put um, the entire transport system to much less um, distances a distance from the logistic center to um, a boring company station um, and the container is going to get inside the tunnel and is driving itself to the next city at that point a new um, truck driver takes this container and drives it directly maybe to another station where it goes to the next city but you see that the transport distance would be so much less and um, would be so much more environmental friendly and for all the people living at a freeway maybe in the United States not as extreme but for European countries for example Germany there are a lot of um, um, cities a lot of towns small towns at a freeway and it can be really noisy especially when you have a lot of truck um, drivers out there on the freeway and this would again not solve the entire um, traffic issue not only for the people but also for the truck drivers which make a lot of noise and um, this would be a way to solve a lot of issues just imagine doing that for example in a country like China really really big cities even more than in the United States or in Europe and you say for example there is going to be a thunder from Shanghai to Beijing just imagine the amount of um, uh, containers that could be transported or for example great example Giga Shanghai four or five kilometers to the harbor where we have all seen the testers standing out there there, there are people or um, truck drivers bringing those cars to the harbor so why not making a tunnel from the um, Giga um, Shanghai directly to the harbor and the cars are driving itself over there and someone is taking care um, to park them this is the future guys and this could be a multi-billion dollar business and I'm so excited about that leave me your feedback down there and your comment in the comment section Thank you for your support guys and don't forget to subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day guys.